Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we will see how to host static website on Amazon S3 and we are using free tier account on AWS and if you don't have AWS account, you can create on a, you can create AWS account on official website. So if you don't have an account, just go to AWS official website and just create that account. After creating account, you will get one free trial here where you can use a freely AWS services. So before starting this demo, uh, I want to tell about uh, something Amazon S3. So I just created one PPT. So you can see, uh, so first question is rise like what is Amazon S3? So Amazon S3 is a like object store service that stores the data as an object within buckets. And bucket is a container for that object. So if you want to store uh, something on S3, we need to create a bucket. And after creating a bucket, we will upload the files as a objects. And now, uh, now static website hosting. So S3 providing website hosting where you can host your website. Uh, we need to enable the service in S3. So in this, uh, so in this, there are some points I want to to tell you so like uh, when we enable the uh, hosting on uh, on s3 we are normally access uh, access this website via aws apis and when we enable the uh, hosting on s3 we will need to set the index and error documents we will see in demo index error documents are like uh, when you are using website if you access particular page say for example demo.html then you will get a specific that page and if you don't specify a page for example amazon.com you get what's called an index page which is default page written to you and for the error document is the same but it used when something gets wrong so for example uh, something gets wrong in server or anything else so this error page will show so when you enable the static hosting in S3, then you will get the website endpoints where you can access the website. And last point is main when you config the domain in S3. So for so for that you need to give the bucket name uh, same as domain name. So we will see in demo. So let's start our demo. So after creating your AWS account, you will get this AWS console and so just search s3 now we need to create first bucket so click on create bucket i already told you if you want to configure your domain then give do a bucket name same as a domain name so mine is like a demo dot and go green dot co so just copy this and paste here and all things are same aws region so choose your region mine is pompeii and, and we need to give a block just untick this one like a block all public access and all things are default just create this bucket So after creating a bucket, search your bucket. So our mine is this one. Now you go to properties and scroll down. You get the option static website. Just edit this one and just enable. And choose the option host static website and give the index file name. And we don't have error document. So just save and now we need to upload your files so click on upload and go to files add files desktops and index just copy we need to upload images and folders document css okay now just upload so it will take some time so after uploading 
so our uh, files are now uploaded just close this one now go to properties then click on this end url so you will get the access uh, exit denied so we need to give the permission to our bucket for that you need to just go to permissions and edit this bucket policy and i already have bucket policy so just click on this i will provide this bucket policy in description just copy and paste here And you can see that uh, in resources just replace this example bucket with your bucket name copy from here and just replace from here and now save so you can see that public access will now click on properties and just scroll down and click on this uh, website in point so now you can see our website is now hosted so now we can uh, now we will see how to configure this endpoint with our uh, domain so for that you just go to uh, route 53 search route 53 and uh, click on hosted zones select your domain so mine is like gogreen.com and create record so record will be same for my demo dot go green enable this alias select your alias in point s3 choose your reason and select your bucket just create this record and just select this one copy demo paste here So now you can see our domain is also coming. So our domain is now set up. So that is, and if you like this video, please like, subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.